everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we're going to make our own stickers. You will not need sticker paper or a Xyron to be able to do it. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. If this is your first time joining me. I am Sherry, the Posh Paper Lady, and I enjoy sharing fun, beautiful, and practical paper crafts that you can make at home. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today because as paper crafters, we do like to share. Sometimes we're sharing just plain old tips and ideas, and sometimes we're actually sharing stickers, embellishments, all of those things that we use to craft. And on occasion, we like to send happy mail. So today I'm going to show you how to make a sheet of stickers that you can actually just drop in the mail as happy mail. Here is one of the sheets that I've already made. I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at the awesome sticker sheet I've made. None of these pieces of ephemera were stickers before, but I turned them into stickers, mounted them. Now these are ready to be dropped in an envelope and sent out as Happy Mail. It is easy peasy, and that is what we're going to be doing today. Very quick, very easy. And here are some of the pieces that I have selected to work with today. I've also selected a scrap piece that we're going to use to craft this as well. And I have just a whole bunch of pieces of ephemera that follow a color pattern. So I've matched the color to some of the colors in this piece here. This makes it perfect if someone wants to create a well-coordinated card or they want to dress up some tags, add these to a gift bag or a gift box. It's all coordinated within the same family, so it's going to work. And I'm sure you guys remember when we used the large decals to make our cards. Well, at the time, I told you to save these sheets because they would come in handy. These are the backer sheets. So this background here that you see, that is one of these sheets. I also have a larger one that I had in my stash. Y'all, I save these because I do make sticker packs all the time and I share. So we're going to go ahead and just move our pieces to the side. I am going to take my two and a half inch hole punch. I think this is two and a half inches. And I'm just going to punch out a couple of circles. You can punch out as many as you want. I'm just going to punch out a couple. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these circles and I might only use one, but for right now, I'm going to place down two. And all I'm doing at this point is figuring out my placement. So then I can take this piece here, and we can put it there. Take that piece, we can put it there. Move that up, move that over like that. Then I can tuck in some birdies, some nice little word sayings. And I might not use all of these. Another little birdie right here. We'll see if we can work this piece in right there. And then we'll put that piece right there. Now I could remove one of these circles to see if I can work in this piece. And I think I'm going to keep the circle. So now that I have my placement, I am just going to bring in my camera and take a picture of my placement. And this will help me to remember how I want everything to be placed on the sheet. And I'm just going to put my phone right here. And this is a technique that I use all the time whenever I'm placing something and I do it a lot when I'm off camera, but whenever I'm making something and placement is important to me, then I'll take a picture so that I can try to recreate the placement of the layout that I really did like. So very easy, y'all. This is going to be so simple. We are just going to take tape and I'm using my tape roller 
and I'm just making sure that I get a really good stick on the back. Then I can take this piece, we can place it down, smooth it out with my big old spatula. And so all I do is I do this with every piece. And these really do work well as stickers. And I will show you how in just a minute. So I am just going to get my tape on this. And so you really don't need a Xyron to be able to turn your favorite pieces of ephemera into stickers. So let's just put that down. Get that nice and stuck. And we're just going to do this with all of our pieces. And guys, you're able to see how well coordinated the pieces I've chosen are. That's all you have to do is you just need to look at some of your favorite pieces if you're gifting this and just pick out some that have nice coordination to them. And then just mount them to an extra backer sheet that you might have from a sticker pack on which you have used all of the stickers. So I am just making sure that I get tape in my corners here. And those of you who have a Xyron, you won't see the need for this process. But for those of you who don't, you do see the need for something like this. You see now how you're able to take your little pieces of ephemera and create stickers. Let's say you're doing a swap. A sticker sheet that you create would be such an appreciated part of that swap. So I am just making sure that I get everything nice and stuck. And what I like about using this particular sticker paper is that it's basically designed for stickers. So you know you won't have any problem with getting your sticker to unstick. Just put that there. Put that there. I'm going to put this right here. And now we can take this piece. We're going to add our tape to it as well. And I'm trying to get really good tape coverage on here because I want it to act as a sticker when you remove it from this sticker sheet. So let's go ahead and place that down. And we'll take this one. Get it nice and stuck. Place it down right here at the top. And now we'll do that last one. And if this process isn't for you, that is okay. So I am going to take this piece and put it down. And so y'all, there we have it. I have created my own custom sticker sheets. I can group these together like this and put them in plastic baggies and then attach a topper to them and offer them like this. Or I can put each one in a separate plastic baggie, drop it in an envelope and send it to someone in the mail. I am going to show you very quickly when I said it's so easy to be able to use these even after you have stuck them down. So I am just covering this one in tape so that we can create a sticker. I'm going to stick it down on this piece like that. And now let's say I wanted to use it. Well, here's how easy it is. Just peel it away from this backer 
and let's just put it down on our paper and get it stuck. There we have a sticker. This is truly stuck to the paper. You don't have to worry about it coming undone because you're using your tape. You're just using that tape to create a sticker. So y'all, there we have it. I think that this is a very super easy way to make your own sticker sheets, whether you're gifting them, keeping them, or selling them. Super easy to make. And a great alternative if you don't have a sticker maker of any kind or you don't feel like investing in some of the sticker sheets. This is a fabulous way to make your own stickers. So if you do buy sticker packs, don't throw away the backer sheet because you can use it later on in your crafting, just as we are doing here. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this quick, very quick, but very useful way to make your own stickers. If you have, please hit that like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.